here with Jaron Geary and Dylan, Dylan Robinson, who uh, took home third and second in tonight's Trevor Bark Award. Gears, you know, second year in a row you've been in the top three. That must be pretty pleasing. Oh, yeah, it's always um, good to get a little bit of recognition um, for year, but I'm just super proud of the way Seb went about it this year. He had a great year, um, deserving winner. He had a really super year. Dylan did as well, and uh, a couple of the young boys, it was good to see them up there. But uh, tonight, Seb's night, he thoroughly enjoyed uh, Thoroughly deserved the result he got tonight. He had a great year and it was a pleasure watching him throughout the year. Yeah, we know you're very modest, but uh, as if a first-year captain, to, to maintain those standards that you set last year, that, that must be it must have been a pleasing aspect. Oh, I mean, you never go out there trying to chase down individual accolades or anything. Um, I'm more of a guy who tries to you know, play my role week in, week out, week in, week out, and that's the best and fairest award probably um, rewards that type of performance. So. Um, I'm really happy and proud that I, I do that um, on most occasions, hopefully, and, and when, you, when you do that week in, week out, you know your teammates enjoy playing with you and that's all you care about, so I'm just happy that, um, you know, week in, week out, my teammates can hopefully rely on me and, and that's all I aim to do week in, week out. Now, Robbo, you've, um, you've had an incredible year, you know, uh, you know, intercept markings really been up there in terms of the competition stats, you've made the All-Australian squad and now to finish second in the best and fairest, you've got to be happy with that? Yeah, it's, oh, it's very humbling. It's obviously something I never thought I would have achieved. Obviously, playing half-back, you don't, you don't play the game trying to um, get these accolades. You just want to try and stop the team from scoring. So, um, But just, yeah, to stand up there with these two guys is, um, like I said, very humbling. And, um, yeah, obviously, this time of the year, we'd rather be celebrating some other stuff. Obviously, playing finals, and you see what other teams are able to do this time of the year and celebrate. So, hopefully, next year. You spoke a bit about your that journey, not, not expecting to be in this position. So, I mean, last year, not inside the top ten, you've just skyrocketed up the, up the leaderboard, if you like. What do you put that down to? Oh, I, was, I probably had... Um, I was injured for five weeks last year, so didn't expect anything last year. And then this year, just, I guess, um, being elected into the leadership group alongside Gears, um, playing under him has been a real honour and something I've grown um, playing under him. So, and then... Obviously, you're in the leadership group, so you have to sort of set the standard for the team with your performance as well as your actions. So I think that's held me in, get in good stead. So when I'm going into a game, I'm just thinking to sort of set the standards for my teammates. And, and boys, um, obviously plans for... Yeah, you spoke tonight about working hard when you come back for pre-season training. You're obviously pretty determined to get back and you know ready for next year. Oh, yeah, you can't escape hard work. I mean, you've got to dig in, and, and that's the only way you can get it done. So... Uh, the boys will enjoy a break now, but we know when we come back we've got a, a long summer ahead of us. We work really hard, but we know the rewards are worth it. There's so many people that it means so much to. It means a lot to us, and if we can um, have success with this club going forward, which is what we aim to do, then we know it's going to put a lot of smiles on people's faces and make a lot of people happy. And, and at the end of the day, that's what we want to do, and, and the, the hard work's in front of us, and, and uh, I'm, I'm very confident we've got the group going forward that will be able to put in the hard yards and, and hopefully get some success down the future. Well, right, guys, well, thanks very much. Enjoy your break, and uh, Saints fans, we'll see you back next year. Thanks, Dave. Cheers. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, mate.